Hi folks, welcome to my shed today. Right, we are going to be making smoked kielbasa sausage today. We'll do the, the, the mixing and the, the making the sausage today and tomorrow we will do the smoking. I will put a complete recipe in the in information side on the video. So let's get a go ahead and start making. We got salt, we have sugar, we have pepper, we have cure number one, the Prague powder, cure number one, we have garlic powder, we have mustard, we have uh, pickling spice which I've put through the coffee grinder, we have marjoram, we have paprika, and finally we have milk powder, basically as a binder. So that all goes in there. The cheese we will add into the mix later. We put the lid on and we give it a good old shake. Right, this now we're going to mix into the meat, so we'll see you shortly. Right, so here we're putting a meat in now, into the mixer, it's a hand mixer, really works nicely. The meat is basically beef and pork, sorry, pork and beef, not beef and pork, more pork than beef. And that's stuck in there. Right. Right, so we're going to start mixing. We'll, we'll start by putting some spice in. And we'll mix. And we'll just keep adding the spice. Quite a lot of spice needed as you can see then also water we put about a kilo of water in sorry a liter of water then we keep mixing we mix and we mix until it's the consistency quite sticky and if you hold it in your hand and open your hand flat, it will stick to your hand. Now that's how sticky it needs to be. This other thing needs some more water. Seems very dry. So we'll add some more water. A bit. And the other way again. Move some of that in. Right, so I've mixed it now for about 10 minutes. If you grab hold of some, put it in your hand, and it must stay there. So that's basically ready. It will drop out, obviously, but nice and sticky. That is ready. So now we had 10 kilos in there. I've taken out four kilos. I've left six kilos, and I'm putting a kilo of cheese. I don't know if that's too much or not, we will find out. So let's get mixing. Right, that's all in. Just scraping off the sides. Quite sticky, so it does stick to the sides a bit. Right, 
Well, let's go backwards and see. I love this mixer, it really works so nicely. When I'm doing burros and dry bores, it just mixes so well and it doesn't stick because we don't mix it a lot. Just the spices. Right, don't think that's going to get any better than that. So that's now ready to be put into a box and into the sausage stuffer and that's where we will see you next. Right, so now to make the sausage. I've got an electric sausage maker there. Came from Germany. And then I've got a tray. I use size 28 to 30 hog casings. You can use the collagen as well, but I prefer to use natural. They come like that, you soak them overnight and next day ready to use. Right, so let's make some sausage. Okay, so we've filled the cylinder up, we've put our skin on and now we can pump out some sausage. That's nice. Right, now we're going to make it into links. But first we've got to just prick it. Got a thing from for sweet corn, putting corn on the cob. And you just prick it all over. Take out any of the air bubbles. I also do this when I'm smoking sometimes, just to take out any extra air bubbles as well. So then we get our first one, it's about that long and three by that long is about 500 gram bag, one smoke so make little links or large links I suppose. Right, so that's how we make our links. We then chop them. And these now go into a, into a box, plastic storage box, into the fridge for the night. And then tomorrow we will smoke them. So we'll see you tomorrow at the smoker. Right, good morning folks. A bit of rain today, but we've got to do the smoking. Welcome to my play zone, my Weber PlayStation. Got some sheds, a couple of three Webers there, the smoker I'll be using today. That's my biltong shed where I hang on my biltong. There's another smoker. Is my table inside there. Nice granite table there. And then another, my prep shed where we were yesterday making the sausages in there. Another smoker. And another Weber barbecue. I've got a charcoal chimney starter going there. So it's nearly ready. So we're about to start getting everything prepared. Right, so we are ready now to start. Some in that one. Some in that one. in that one. 
So we'll leave those for a while, close them up, get them to come up to temperature and then put the sausage in. So now the next step, I've put all the sausages on the trays, on the grates for the smokers. And I've left them for about half an hour just to sort of dry off a bit. And we've got the, the temperature probes in, the meter temperature probes. And the meter block, which has got four probes, and the meter plus, which has got one probe. I run the, the meter block off a USB charger, so it doesn't use too many batteries, too much battery power. So that's it now. We're going to go into the den outside and put them all in and get the smoking going. Right, so I've been testing uh, an Inkbird fan controller to basically control the airflow into the smoker today. Set at 175 degrees. I did smoke start the smoke off a bit hot but it's come down now and it seems to be working well so th that's a fan unit right so the ink bird connects in via the vent at the bottom through a little pipe i'm going to make a hole in the side it comes up by the pipe and then comes into or well, from the fan blower unit basically you set it to the temperature you want and the fan just comes on and off slowly or fast or whatever according to the temperature. Ta-da! And those are ready. And some of them a little, little bit hot but they, they look beautiful, they really do. There's two layers in there. That one. Those are looking nice. They will come a different colour once they prove themselves so those are ready and this one's also ready so that's all three smokers ready now get these on and to the sink and get them all rinsed off cool down and then we can bag them tomorrow right so now we get a spray and we cool them off like this for a few minutes just to stop it all from going crinkly on the skin after getting all the smoking done and cooled off with water with spray water we put it on top of tiles to dry them off and then to bloom basically to get some color for a few hours so these are the cheese ones other ones are almost ready as well so that's all good That's the end of the puzzle, the last piece of the jigsaw. And it's all my little test samples. And that's what it looks like inside with the cheese. Maybe a little bit more cheese needed on the next batch, I'll see, but it's absolutely delicious. And then here is the batch all bagged up and ready now to be frozen and then sold. So that's, that's it. See if we can get a close up here of this.